Today we are playing a 1v1 match on a beautiful map Westfold in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22 between Gondor and our opponent is playing the Mordor faction. El Clasico, just like in the films, just like in the Pelennor fields, Minas Tirith. Good versus evil, ladies and gentlemen. I like this matchup a lot and this matchup is normally a good matchup for Gondor on small maps, but Westfold is not a small map by all means. And Mordor should be easily able to get to the mid to late game power spike on a map like this very, very early. And for that reason, let's start with a barracks. This way, we can actually use both the starting soldiers kind of offensively. And we can use the Hobbit to capture the top side settlements and the additional soldier from the barracks to capture the bottom side settlements. And also, we are playing this on a patch 2.22 beta, which will be released in a few days. And as you can see, everything is a bit faster. So we were able to increase the overall speed of the game, which will also include for every single unit, every single hero. And also, um, buildings are building faster, you can recruit units faster. And that buff is obviously to every single faction. Just to make the games a little bit smoother by making them a bit faster. So we need to pick up the heal from the spell book because we are getting damaged a lot and we should be able to win this only one situation. Also here, we should be able to win this only one situation between soldier and orc and also Golem is obviously helpful but we can use now the heal and that should favor us a lot. The orcs, they cannot match this power and the strength of the gunner soldiers. When he's being annoying, we can also creep with the hobbit and... You know, the additional uh, swordmen we can now recruit or we just, re re you know, we were recruiting from the barracks is actually quite helpful in this matchup. Because as you can see, with the two soldiers, we are actually creating immense amount of pressure and Mordor doesn't know what he's supposed to do. Okay, so we were able to destroy this mill. That's huge, by the way. And also, I believe this mill is going to be taken down. I'm assuming as I'm not seeing any more orcs, that this Mordor is not starting with an Orc Pit. So that's also something I do myself a lot. When I play on Westfold, I want to recruit or capture, in this case, many, many settlements first before building the Orc Pit, because if you don't know, the evil factions, they get the Wood bonus from having more than one Emblemer Mill. It means if you have four of them, you get a huge discount on your buildings and you can build the Tro um, Orc Pit, which would normally cost 400, only for 280. Golem is annoying, but I think he's badly damaged. He cannot do much anymore. We can destroy also this. Oh, that's actually a phenomenal start. Holy moly, guys. I mean, now we got to build a blacksmith. The reason is simple, because blacksmith needs to have some time to get up to level 2. It's the only way for the Gondor faction to per capture or purchase upgrades. I can't even talk, guys. I can't even talk. It's like so late. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I know you guys like this El Clasico matchups, you know? I know, I know you guys like the good against evil matchups, just like I do. And for that reason, I hope you will enjoy this kind of games. And if you do, please don't forget to leave a like on this and subscribe also for more content like this. Alright, let's defend this. Oh my goodness, guys. I believe I have never had a better start, which is extremely important and also needed in this matchup on this map. If we would have a war start than this one, trust me, uh, our opponent might be able to get a fell beast before our second Gondor Knight can join the battlefield. Talking about the Gondor Knight, let's build this stable. And now we can capture this money and go for a second creep, the Goblin Lair. The Hobbit, as you can see, is doing a phenomenal job himself. He can creep a Goblin Lair solo and get a full experience. We got from level 1 all the way to level 3, almost level 4. And we got also a lot of money. But Mordor, even though he had a... You know, as you can see, he had a bad start into the game, but he has still a full beast. That's actually unbelievable. Imagine him having a good start, you know? Have any good stories for me? Tell the knights their stable is ready. Okay, we have three blacksmiths, and we need six of them in order to get the full discount bonus of the steel bonus to get our upgrades purchased a bit faster. Even though I'm not expecting to go for upgrades in this matchup, on a map like Westworld, I would like to skip that and go for the, for the best hero in the game. Let's use heal once again. And our soldiers, actually, they were staying alive. Staying alive. Uh, 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 staying alive. <laughs> okay, I gotta admit, I'm not a singer, guys. I'm sorry if I was blowing up your eardrums, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you see, even though he had such a bad start, but he has the troll cage as my first Gondonite coming out. 
I mean, that's the proof that Mordor on the map Westworld is just, you know, something else. For that reason, let's creep as much as we can get. And for that reason, we will be able to unlock the Gun of the White Power Point spell from the Spellbook of Gondor. And then later on, we will just rush Gandalf without purchasing any upgrades on our Gondonites. I mean, Mordor is still getting a lot of money, and with the troll, he will be definitely able to get uh, to find his way back into the game. But we are also in a phenomenal spot. Would be a lie if I would say something else. And what we can also do is we can recruit Boromir later on. Boromir is a hero, which is extremely important in this matchup against Mordor. Yes, this is the only way Gondor can get additional damage leadership, which is, by the way, extremely needed in order to take down the enemy trolls, Nazgûl, and also Witch King much, much faster. When it comes to fight against trolls, uh, armor leadership doesn't really do much, because armor you get from Gandalf all alone, and also Faramir provides ar um, additional armor leadership, but Boromir, once again, is the only way. And trolls, they don't care about your armor, they will one-shot you anyway, but what they care about is your damage leadership, so you can take them down before they can eventually reach out to your rangers, and that's going to be our plan in this game against Mordor. I stand in my I stand as your captain. Hold them here. Smother them. Okay, let's creep the goblin layer. Oh my goodness, I forgot about <laughs> I forgot about the soldier because that's a strategy I don't normally use. You know, I'm not building up normally a barracks against Mordor. That's why I completely forgot about the existence of those Gondor <laughs> soldiers, my bad. Okay, so we have almost three power points collected. We can go for Faramir. I'm gonna leave the Warclay at the bottom right side for actually Faramir. Let's keep creeping. We can also creep this Goblin layer right off the bat. If actually so much money, you know, I don't know. I'm so rich. I, dude, I'm, you know, normally in this matchup, I'm supposed to, I'm expected, I'm expecting uh, to play from behind. You know, I'm more like in a defensive situation against Gondor against Mordor because Mordor is normally rolling on me, especially on this map Westfold. I think I have like the lowest win rate. And that's the thing about PFME 1. Like when it, when it comes to balance a game or balance the game itself, it's very hard to make it balance in every single situation. You know, generally, generally you can see that uh, big maps are favoring evil factions like Mordor and Isengard, but small maps like the Rohan faction, uh, Rohan map, for example, is definitely favoring the Gondor faction or Rohan faction. And uh, you know, the question is how we want to balance that. You cannot balance for a single map, but on a, any other map, the matchup is going to be worse or much, much better. So you know, long story short, it's actually kind of tough. In Mordor, you know, early game is the weakest, but the late game is the strongest. And on a map like this, with this many settlements outside, Mordor has definitely the opportunity and also the chance to get to this insane power spike. Wait, wait, hold on a second, dude. My Boromir is legit losing the 1v1 situation against a troll. Boromir, be like your brother Faramir and show your quality. And by the way, Faramir, during all this time, is creeping slowly but surely the work layer at the bottom right side. Our Hobbit is also doing a good job, denying him. Please, one more hit, Boromir. Nice, Boromir. That's the captain of Gondor. I want to have in my team. Okay, so... Guys, dude, that's going to be absolute fiesta. Normally, the games between Gondor and Mordor last a while. And in order to make progress on this map, we need to actually start capturing many, many outputs. Now, our Gandalf is going to join the battlefield. And that is, of course, like uh, like the biggest power spike Gondor faction can have early mid-game. But that is not going to be enough to... Hold on a second. Let's turn him into the Gandalf Divide. As, the, as you can see, the sun is rising on the Citadel of Gondor. That's also a new feature for the patch 2.22. The animations for heroes like Gandalf, Saruman, uh, Aragorn, and Witch King. So the most expensive hero from every single faction has like a special arrival animation now in this patch. Let's keep pressuring all the time. And Boromir is also a great counter to trolls because of his knockdown. But sometimes you gotta be also lucky, you know? Sometimes when you are playing Mordor, you are extremely lucky and you are able to knock down Boromir all the time before he gets the chance to attack you and trolls are hitting like a truck. By the way, this troll is dead. Like, what are you doing there, my friend? Did you lose your way? Are you out of your mind? There is a wizard. I'm gonna also build up the marketplace. Let's kill this settlement. Marketplace now. Because, you know... Oh! Dude. <laughs> I'm not... Dude, they can... Please, please, don't do that to me. Please, come on now, please. 
Not even close, babe. Calculate it. Calculate it. Get away there. Get away. Run. Run, you fool. Okay. Don't run into the <laughs> into the oryx. So imagine him running into the oryx and then dying, you know? Okay, marketplace is going to be a great investment into the into the elite game. Archer range, statue, and a well. Because we need to start recruiting Gondor archers into the rangers. It's the only way in long terms to successfully keep killing the enemy monsters in Nazgûl. Gandalf is great, but he has only a limited amount of abilities with you know long cooldowns. So Easterlight, you can only use it every um, you can only use it every 60 seconds, and for that reason, <laughs> it's not gonna be enough to win you the game. We have three power points collected, so we can go for the Ranger Special Summon in this matchup. As Condor against Mordor, it's very important to get to the power spike of the Eagle Special Summon. Eagles can be your ticket to the victory. And for that reason, we are not going to summon Rohirrim, for example, okay? So we will not do anything which can delay our uh, Eagle Special Summon from the Spellbook. Oh my goodness, is he gonna destroy it? No, Wizard Plus. A Wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. By the way, oh my goodness, this Oryx spam is actually getting on my nerves. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> okay. I mean, we gotta keep this outpost protected. That's what it's, what matters. And yeah, we are in a good spot. I, I would say we are in a good spot. Even though I wish we would have a little bit more map control. A little bit more. Let's go for the Iron Ore next. For even more money from the Blacksmith system. On this map, Grand Harvest is your priority because, you know, Grand Harvest gives you more money in compared to Iron Ore. And also you have plenty of farms outside, you know, normal situation. And Gondor should always go for the Grand Harvest, even though it's a bit more expensive, but trust me, it is definitely worth it. Okay, so let's go for the Siege Materials too. We can also start buying upgrades very soon. I would like to take care of this outpost. Let's use the Easter Light on top of the Haradrim so we can, we can kill them this way. Let's go for the Blades next. Nice, ooh. Nice. Ooh. Oh, I see orcs coming, but what can orcs do? They can do nothing. We have four power points, but we need to invest three of them into the rangers. I mean, oh, he's trying to get inside the jeans once again. Uh, dude, kind of, you are so slow sometimes. You are so slow sometimes. Okay, that's actually bad, but it's okay. They are actually... Oh, boy, what is happening? A fiesta is happening. What a sneak attack. Run, you fools. My Boromir actually got wiped out already. <laughs> dude. That was such a big mistake from me to build the RG range this offensively. What a greedy move. What a greedy move. You know, building it at the top left. So we gotta demolish everything. Dude, that's like the worst case scenario. Without getting any rangers recruited. Like what? I mean, in exchange though, we are able to treat the, you know, outposts. So yeah, he's destroying one of my outposts, but I'm also destroying one of his outposts. So the trade is even. But, I mean, I lose much more of that as my Boromir has been killed. My Archer range has been destroyed. So it's definitely not a good trade for us. Okay, so we need to capture this one now. And money is, you know, not looking that great anymore. That's the thing. If you lose heroes, reviving them costs you not only time, but also a lot of money. And by the way, what is this? Mordor up to? Is he gonna come to my castle? If he comes to my castle, I mean, it sounds bad, but I have nothing to defend myself. I have no archers. I have no rangers. I mean, I have rangers from the spellbook, but I don't think they will be enough to save today. I don't think they will be enough, boys. Um, how did I mess this up? And how the heck is this Mordor so rich? Can somebody please explain me that? Did I play it too slow? Should I... Uh, was I... You know, did I... Maybe going for Gandalf... Rushing Gandalf wasn't the best call, I guess. Maybe I should have gone for the... For the beast rush with the gun rights, but... I don't know, man. This Mordor seems to have much more than I was expecting him to have. Okay, I mean, it, as long as he's not attacking our castle, we should be in a good spot. And him attacking without the Witch King can also backfire. So... Oh my goodness, guys, he's coming inside the jeans. Let's summon the rangers. We need to kill. He has only one drummer troll. That's going to be our target. We gotta kill this drummer troll to deny the Mordor mountain trolls the leadership. Boromir, knock them down. Boromir, oh, dude. Nice hit, Boromir. Don't die. I mean, just disable them, Boromir. Run, run, you fool. Run, you fool. Please kill. Nice. Bo oh my goodness. What a Easter delight. What a, what a juicy Easter delight. We hit them like a truck. 
Para mia, go, go, go. Dude, the strolls, they still don't want to die, even though they have no leadership. Hey, man, die already, dude. Okay, Farami, nice shot. Level 5, leadership unlocked. So we have all the leadership possible from the Kondo faction now unlocked. Gandalf, Faramir, and also Boromir. But we lost one part of the wall. It's okay. I mean, losing one part of the wall is not a big deal because we can repair it as long as the map control is not affected. But the orcs are annoying. And that's the power of orcs. And a couple of days ago on the tier list video on this channel for Battle for Middle-earth 1. By the way, if you haven't watched it already, I would recommend you guys to watch in this video, I was talking about the units and the heroes, the strength, the power level, and why I believe they belong to a high spot in the tier list. I was placing the orcs into the um, god tier list or god tier spot. And the reason is simple, because the amount of pressure you can create with units that are for free is insane. Their damage individually doesn't really matter. It's about quantity, it's about spamming them. And some might say quantity has a quality by himself uh, at its own and i believe he was referring whoever said that he was referring to the to the orc warriors from the more of oh my goodness am i gonna lose the oh boy losing the archer range oh boy darkness dude the trolls are charging and archer range has been taken down hello darkness my old friend oh my goodness dude why am i so greedy why am i so greedy why i keep building archer range at the outpost it's like the definition of insane is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results am i actually going insane now i don't even know but that actually hurts, man. Now we, we gotta build it for the third time, boys. But this time, finally, you know, the three times is a charm. This time we finally build it inside the castle. I mean, dude, I'm mess. I mean, that could be like a title about how to throw a game, guys. We are legit throwing the lead into the garbage. I mean, look how many throws he has. And until we have ranges, we cannot match them. And we lost the archer range. Once again, after getting only one single range up on the field. I mean, I don't see a Nazgul yet. I don't know if he has actually a Witch King or not. But we know that the Darkness is available. And we need a little bit more than one power point now to get... Oh, the Witch King is on the field. The animation of Minas Morgul. Oh, oh, the Witch King is smart. He will... Oh, my goodness. Dude, I'm, man, I'm tilted. I'm tilted, guys. Sorry, but I'm really tilted. Because if he now, with the Witch King, comes to my castle, I'm dead. I'm telling you, I'm dead. My money is good, but what? The money can't win me the game. Hold on, I can easily light him. Um, the Warning Arrow is pointless against Witch King. If you don't know, the Warning Arrow is dealing barely any damage. Unlike against Nazgûl, in which, in this case, it would be super effective. But against Witch King, it's kind of meh. Or, it's actually horrible, not even meh. And we are trying to kill Orcs, we are trying to do stuff until we get to the point in which we can finally call on the eagles okay so gandalf is level dude also one of the situations i need to mention you know the war of power from gandalf in this matchup against mordor is not even that good because trolls they are much more resistant to war of power and they won't die from it so it's good against rohan gondor and also isengard but it's actually not very good against mordor Okay, you can see the new glow animation from the farms that's also added to the patch 2.22, which you can, buy, by the way, also download from the link in the description down below. I would highly recommend it, guys. The zoom is improved, the AI is improved, you have much more fun in the skill missions, it's much more challenging, and we are also, if you don't know, working currently on the rework of the campaign. So basically, uh, the good campaign is going to be our first target. We want to make it a bit more challenging, especially missions like Helm's Deep, Minas Tirith, Blackgate, those key missions from the game will be improved. Oh my goodness, the trolls are charging, dude. The trolls are going... Hey, why you get slowed down? The orcs, they are so stupid. They are actually trample, you know, slowing me down like like hell. I mean, don't lose the level tank on the night, please. Okay, the Witch King doesn't want to overcommit. He's afraid of the of the Vile Wizard, and he has to be. And I, I have... Even though it looks bad, but I have good news, boys. Now we have the Eagle Special Summon finally available. And also, finally, we have an archery range level 2. And now we can finally recruit or spam, start spamming rangers. Rangers, rangers, rangers. Okay, now we gotta make a move. And I believe the move we need to make 
is to the bottom right output. We don't know what he has there, and that's as this, as this is the closest output to our castle, it has to be the first one we need to recapture. And yeah, you see, he has a siege works, yeah, and that's about time. We need to take care of that. But oh, look at this. The eagles, the eagles are coming. Kill them all. Oh my goodness, man. It's about now. Now it's important to get as many power points collected from the eagle special summon as we can. He's committing. Which he has to. I mean, he has no other ways. But we gotta disengage now. Oh my. <laughs> These trolls are looking scary. Kill him, please. Okay, we killed one of them. Beat them into the towers. You know, beat them into the towers. That's all it that matters. We are killing a lot. We get on already one and a half power points. Oh, there are three more trolls. Hey, there was a mistake from you to show me that. Because my eagles can take care of them as well. Beautiful, guys. So we can keep getting more and more ranges recruited. And unfortunately, we lost the outpost, but it's okay. We will now be able to take it back. And also, the, bo uh, the bottom out outpost will be now taken down by us. So if he lost a lot of trolls. I don't think he has many more trolls left on the field. And if he has like one or two trolls, I believe we can take care of them with the rangers and Boromi and Farami and Gandalf anyway. So let's... Oh, he has one catapult. We have almost three power points collected. Um, that means we are only seven power points away from the Offbreaker special summon. Which can be used to win the game. The, the way you want to summon the EOD though, and that's very important. You want to summon it in a way in which you can... You need to make sure that you have like a backup. Not backup, but like a follow-up, you know? You need to follow by the way which king are you out of your mind hey, hey hey oh no he's gonna dodge once again this guy is actually mind gaming me quite nicely okay okay i mean we are having round about a 40 person map control he has 60 person map control and that's the power of mordor with the witch king being on the field it's really hard with your cavalry to keep fighting uh, for the map control with gondor you need to have ranges positioned in every single location. That's why capturing those outposts is extremely important for us. So we need to do it slow. Move, capture the outpost, put ranges inside the outpost. Then move again, capture another outpost, and so on. That's the playstyle on a map like Westport. You can't really rush them down because even if you can somehow manage to destroy the castle, if he has full map control, he will have so much money to just simply rebuy the castle, make Mooma kills at the outpost, catapults, as we have seen also plenty of trolls. So Mordor is definitely <laughs> incredible. Almost unlimited amount of options in this matchup on this map. Okay, but we are getting closer, closer, closer to the Mordor faction finally. We can also start attacking him very soon. Um, we don't want to give him too much time to build yet again another army, Warfare of Mordor. So we got to build a statue and put another ranger inside. I mean, tower is not very needed, actually. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, he's coming with a Witch King. But hey, Witch King, what are you doing, bro? Are you out of your mind? Yeah, that's what I thought, Witch King. That's what I what I thought. Witch King, not Witch King. <laughs> okay, Whiskey. All right. Um, four power points collected. Now what we need to do is we need to get more units to this location. And then we got to hit and run. And during all this time, we need to also rotate from a different location. So we need to move as we pressure him, right? And we need to force him to split his army. So Mordor's army is extremely uh, powerful when they are clumped in one single piece. And everybody, everything is together. Drummer troll, witch king trolls. Then Mordor is extremely strong. It's almost impossible to beat them unless you have like freezing rain to shut down their leadership. But the way you want to play that is you want to use the map control advantage you got against Mordor and split, force a split, you know. Divide and conquer, pretty much. Force him to split his army into multiple pieces. And Witch King can't be everywhere. Eye of Sauron can't be everywhere. And then you need to make small, small, uh, smart but small engagements. And then this engagement you have to, right? That's the way you want to play this matchup, guys. I will show you and demonstrate you what I'm talking about. Okay, so... Uh, let's build another um, statue just in case we might lose the other one. And now we need to rotate. As you see, we are rotating from the top side. And for that reason, we need to do that also from the bottom side. Let's bring more. And then we will be moving with the main army. But we will always leave some ranges behind. Oh, you see? You see, that's the time. That's like a signal for us. Okay, here's army here. Witch King here. Many, many trolls here. It's fine. They cannot be coming back now quite fast. So we can now deal finally some economical damage. 
And as we have so much money in map control, we can just push him back once again. Take down this troll, please, kind of. Is there an item? Yes, sir. Nice. -o. Let's take down the level 3 slaughterhouse. That's actually big. The Witch King is coming, but Witch King can't really approach. There comes the lightning sword. And this time, I'm catching you. The Witch King of Engmar is no more. And the question about who is stronger, Witch King or, Mor or Gandalf, I think the question is solved, my friends. The question is answered. The problem is solved. So now he's engaging. We can summon the rangers for additional. And you see, I have like backup there, you know? I want him to follow me all the way. In which all, also my rangers inside the citadel can finally start shooting. Gotta make sure that heroes are in a safe spot. You see? Pew, 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 pew. And as he's charging, he's fully committing. His drummer troll can follow. And the trolls, and they are dying, they can enrage sometimes. Oh, look at this with a blast. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this. Boom, so there we go, Mifrandia, and that's the thing. You see what happened? You see how the f this fight was supposed to be won by Mordor. But what happened is he lost the Witch King before the fight actually started. Right, he was trying to kill my Gondonites. He was getting caught by the Lightning Sword of Gandalf. And then we killed the Witch King. That's the goal. That's the good thing number one. The good thing number two is he was engaging with trolls. When they are engaging, they are running much, much faster. It means drummer trolls, the sportive trolls, they can't keep up with the speed of the trolls. And that's the reason why those trolls didn't have enough leadership to survive the burst of the rangers. So we, let's try to win this without AOD, okay? Because he messed up. So, dude, he had such a huge army with plenty of combos, drummer troll, trolls. He had like everything that was required for a victory, but he messed up. He messed up, boys. Let's go for another juicy with plus. I'm not gonna summon EOD, by the way. I'm not gonna summon it. Boom, son! No, no, I'm not gonna summon EOD. That's the goal, boys. And for that reason, you have to leave a like. You need to say, hey, Shanks, he's such a, a respectful player that he's trying his best to win this game without the need of the ultimate power point of the good factions, the army of the dead. Deal or no deal, guys? For that reason, we gotta have 400 likes on this video. All right. Uh, almost level 6 Faramir. Gandalf is almost level 10, but unfortunately, once again, not very, very impactful in a situation like that. So now, Boromir, one of Gondor was actually quite busted. <laughs> Let's use heal. And keep... Hey, Boromir. This Boromir is all about fighting, you know what I'm saying? He wanna just fight. Let's get more Gondor Knights so we can go for a... You know, Gondor Knights, they can tank a lot of damage from the arrows and also deal great amount of damage to the structures. And keep throwing him out, you know, in which our rangers and archers can shoot. And also move from this side. Take full map control. That's that's the goal. And we can call the eagles, but let's also not call the eagles. Let's try to win this with our army only, you know what I'm saying? That's the challenge. I mean, to be fair, he has not much left in the, on the field anymore. He has like two trolls, drummer troll, witch king is still dead. The reviving witch king is for free, but... It needs actually lots of time until the leader of the Nine Nazgûls can actually be back on the menu and get back in, into the jeans, you know? For power points, like, we can call the Rohirrim eventually if you wanted to. Beautiful trample. Oh, the trolls are charging. I don't know about that. You see, that's the thing. You don't want to charge. Listen to me. Now, you might call me crazy, but you don't want to charge. If you charge, the drama troll can't follow you. You know, it's not good. Trust me. You want to go slow until you have to charge. And, and, and this sweet spot is the spot in which you can make sure the drummer troll is giving you still leadership. That's the important part. That's the main part from the Mordor faction. Your army, everything, your existence. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, I can cover this. No problem. I'll take this. I'm going to use lightning sword. Yeah, he's gonna lose the trolls, yeah? So basically, your whole ex existence as Mordor is relying and playing around leadership bonuses. That's why Witch King, Drummer Troll, Darkness, Eye of Sauron, you gotta play around these four things, you know? Master the Rohirrim. Okay. Uh, yeah, he, he lost the troll cage. It means no more units anytime soon. Look at the minimap, boys. Please take a look into the minimap. You know, that's how you are supposed to play against Mordor. Shut him down. Never give him the chance to recapture stuff. And make sure that he is getting no money whatsoever from the map. 
it was a good game though. I mean, we unlocked almost every, every single power point. We, all, we are only missing the cloud break. Uh, and just for the memes, just to show them what we got. The second we kill the last building, we will be summoning the Eagles in AOT just to show him what we got. You know what I'm saying? That's just the plan. But first of all, we gotta kill the buildings. This way I'm also able to hold my promise. And now he has nothing anymore. Come on. Come on. Nice. Now call the Eagles too. The Eagles, the Eagles are coming. GG well played, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And we'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck. And also, stay beyond standards. And by the way, look our money, dude. Peace out, guys.